I'm Aaron Graber with Ventrac, and today we're on site with a new home build. We're gonna be using a Ventrac with several attachments to finish grade the property, getting it prepped for seed and a new lawn install. On a lot of home construction sites, this process is actually very easy. You're gonna use the power rake and that's probably about it. Um, there's not a lot of debris in the yard. There's not much challenging terrain. There's really nothing to worry about. Usually they're pretty flat. This lot is not that. <laughs> so it's gonna be a much more challenging task today. There's a few big hurdles that we have to work around. First, there's a lot of big rocks that were uprooted when they were changing the contour of the property. It started out as a very steep ravine and they've really built around that. So there's a few challenges because of it. We've also got a lot of branches in various piles that we need to re relocate. And there's a few big dirt piles that we wanna use specifically to fill in some holes in some rougher parts of the property that weren't touched during construction. The reason we have to do all this is because you wanna to get to an end goal of having a yard that's nice and smooth so that once the grass is established, you can actually mow it effectively. Uh, today we have perfect weather, we should have perfect traction, it's no issue at all uh, for some machines, but even if the weather was a little bit off or in some of the steeper areas even yet, uh, the Ventrac is actually gonna be a really good piece to do those areas where a lot of other equipment would struggle. Doing those areas of this job with standard equipment is just too risky because it's way too easy to lose control and either damage the structure or put your operator at risk. The steps we're gonna to take to do this individual property are a little bit different than our normal approach. We're actually gonna start out with a bucket because we've got a lot of debris to move, and we're gonna move dirt piles after that, get those kind of staged and pointed where we want to. After that, we'll switch to the power rake. We'll start to do all of the final contouring. We're gonna to continue to maintain the swales that they've put in in the rough grade. We're gonna make sure that everything has a smooth glass-like finish, and then we'll finish it out with the landscape rake and we'll push all of those small rocks and that little debris out to the edges where it can be cleaned up later and get the area totally prepped for seed. And as always, my own personal goal here will be to reduce the amount of hand labor to either nothing or close to nothing because that takes time and time is money. So we're gonna give them the best possible results by using the equipment to do all the work. Now that we got those first two piles moved, it's pretty rough in this area, but it, it's no big deal. We'll get that with the power rake later. Uh, we're gonna move on to the back side. We got some rocks to move, and then we got some stick piles. Once we do that, we're gonna get the power rake out, and we'll go back over, probably start here, get this stuff more level. Um, this is a lot of like really heavy peat moss clay or something, so it should settle really well. And then once we do that, then we should be able to start doing all the really light final grade work.
All right, we are officially done. This turned out to be a much more difficult job than it appeared to be at first. So all of this area, most of the dirt was a lot dirtier than we would typically expect. A lot of just bricks, larger rocks, um, roots and stuff from the trees that all got ripped out. So just a lot uh, more involved of a process to get this done. But thankfully to having the right machine, uh, we were able to do it with uh, no real extra effort, just a little bit extra time. The first attachment we use on this project, like we outlined in the beginning, was the bucket. We moved a lot of dirt around. We also got rid of a lot of rocks, relocated some tree branches and roots. One of the things we spent extra time on here is uh, thinking about the future of what this property looks like. So there was a lot of spots where I'm going, okay, how is this gonna be mowed in the future? There was a big tree up at the top that had some roots that were way exposed to the ground. Uh, basically impossible to mow around. Uh, and if you did, you probably risk damaging blades, maybe taking out a spindle occasionally. So we got a lot of dirt filled in there, contoured it perfectly so you can actually mow around that tree effectively. Uh, and there should be no areas on this property now that, that throw them any fits into the future. So ultimately the power rate can be the only tool you use for the grading portion if the dirt is really clean fill dirt or if the, the site has never been touched before and it was an open field or something. Uh, on this site, you definitely needed the landscape rake to follow up with that power rake. It's important to use the power rake after the rough grading to get down and give it a, a loose seed bed so that you actually have something for the grass seed to take into. But once you do that, you do tend to kick up some of the material that was underneath buried by the bulldozer or skid loader or whatever did the rough grading. So to get that stuff out of the way, get it into piles and get it removed from the site or pushed off to the edge, uh, landscape rake is perfect for that and avoids basically all hand labor. Looking around, I can see that maybe right up against the house, I'm not sure what they're doing, whether they're doing the flower beds all the way around or not, uh, right up against the house, maybe for the last six, eight inches, there might be a little bit of handwork necessary. Um, if they're planting grass all the way to the foundation, I don't know how they're doing it exactly. But I would say total handwork is down to less than 15, 20 minutes on this property, uh, where if you didn't have tools like this, you could be in the hours getting it wrapped up. So that's a good thing. Uh, we are done here today. We're gonna load up, wrap up. This should be ready to go. It's gonna take seed and they are going to move in shortly. As always, if you're interested in this equipment at all, the tractor or any of the attachments we used, you can find that information at ventrac.com. Also be sure to follow us and subscribe on all of our social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, anywhere else you'll find Ventrac, and pay attention for future videos. Thanks for watching.